is then at look back in rehab. Stumbling Baxter appears disoriented as he's led to a car outside residential facility. Then Atluck appears to have returned to a residential rehab facility, in his ongoing battle to conquer his struggle with alcohol addiction. The actor was filmed briefly stumbling and apparently disoriented at a treatment center in Los Angeles on Thursday. The Oscar winner was accompanied by two women as he departed the rehab facility for a visit to a Buddhist center in the early evening and by the same women as he returned just before 9.30 p.m. Affleck has previously been accompanied by hired sober coaches in his determined bid to stay sober, although it is not known if either of his blonde companions were acting in this capacity. In the footage obtained exclusively by Daily Mail, Com, the father of three can be seen partially supported by one woman as he rounds a corner towards his waiting car. Upon seeing photographers, the woman removes Affleck's arm from her shoulder, at which point the apparently disorientated star appears to briefly veer towards the road and a tree, before correcting himself. Ben was dressed casually in the footage, and appeared to be in good spirits, smiling as his photograph was taken. The source told Daily Mail. Calm that the 45-year-old headed to a Buddhist center during his outing, along with his companions, before spending the rest of the evening elsewhere. When he came out he had his arm around the girl and they rode in his car together, said the source, noting that the group were back at the center before the evening curfew for residents. The actor has been attending the rehab center for daily outpatient sessions over the past few months. The visits came after he revealed in March that he had completed treatment for alcohol addiction and substance abuse. The source told U.S. Weekly on Friday that Affleck's commitment to his recovery remained strong. Ben's main priorities have never wavered, said a source close to the actor. He's focused on his family and spending time with girlfriend Lindsay Shukups. Dealing with this disease is something he'll have to work on for the rest of his life and he remains focused on it. Back in March Affleck wrote in an honest Facebook post that he had undergone treatment in order to be the best father he can be. I have completed treatment for alcohol addiction, something I've dealt with in the past and will continue to confront. He wrote, I want to live life to the fullest and be the best father I can be. I want my kid to know there is no shame in getting help when you need it, and to be a source of strength for anyone out there who needs help but is afraid to take the first step. And the actor went on to admit he felt lucky to have his family and friends as well as ex-wife Jennifer Garner, who is the mother of his children. He added, I'm lucky to have the love of my family and friends, including my co-parent, Jen who has supported me and care for our kids as I've done the work I set out to do. This was the first of many steps being taken towards a positive recovery. After he completed his rehab stay in March, Ben moved out of the home he shared with 45-year-old Jennifer, who filed for divorce from her husband of 11 years after separating two years ago. Affleck then began dating Saturday Night Live producer Lindsay Shukus, although he was noticeably absent from her sister's wedding last weekend. Despite their split Affleck and Jennifer have often been seen together, even spending Thanksgiving with their children Violet, 12, Serafina, 8, and Samuel, 5, along with Matt Damon and his family. Like Jennifer, Damon is a key part of Affleck's support network. The childhood friends were catapulted to fame with the release of their Oscar-winning movie Good Will Hunting 20 years ago. Damon has publicly praised Affleck for his efforts to conquer his addiction. Speaking in March, he said, He's with the kids now, couldn't be happier. Jeff's working for a couple weeks in Atlanta, so he's Mr. Momming it right now. And that's what he wants to be doing.